At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. You know, Winnipeg gets a bad rap for being kind of a dump, probably because when you have a garbage landfill like you do here, the city throws some grass over top of it, calls it a park so you can watch the skyline and the sunrise come up over top of it. Welcome to the vlog. Really comes into town from off season or, you know, like I give you an example with Matt Murray, like when he came from no other organization, I, you know, you scour through videos and you scour through analytics and you scour through, get as much info as possible. But to me, the important thing as a goalie coach is to have a plan. And like you have a plan of, okay, this week we're working on post play, this week we're working on screens and tips. So I recently discovered this podcast called Goalie Hacks, and they talked to some of the more knowledgeable, more credible goalie coaches working in the NHL, just some really good insight. Pierre Guru, goalie coach of the Auto Senators, was recently on this podcast. He talked about Marcus Hogberg and Matt Murray and this concept of getting your feet set. If you're just a regular hockey fan, you're probably gonna think I'm retarded for talking about this. If you're a goalie, you'll appreciate this, but getting your feet set, right? You're shooting on me, feet are set, I'm in a ready stance, I'm active and I'm ready to make that save. Puck moves location, now we gotta change, recalibrate and get square in the next one. And it's something that's so simple and it's talked about from the youngest of age, but as I get older and older, I keep drilling into myself like how important this is because when my feet are behind, when I'm not totally set, when I'm not totally square and I'm cheating a little bit, I get, I get burned. I had a skate with my boy Tommy, Tommy Freebird, and one of my favorite things about skating with him is that his hands are so fast and his feet are so quick that it, it forces me to, well, take a look. So I was listening to an interview the other day with uh, Pierre Grew, goalie coach for the Ottawa Senators. He was talking a lot about uh, Magnus Hodgeberg and Matt Murray getting their feet set. One of the reasons why I love skating with this guy the hands are so fast, this old tractor only has one speed of slow, so he kind of has to force me to get into high gear. So this ice time here is all about that, getting the feet set. Pascal Vallon and I talked about in Vancouver about a double C cut pivot, rotating it square. That's in there as well. I think there's a lot of really good stuff to work on on this ice time, as well as patience, a little bit of RVH work. And finally, thank you Pierre Gru for inspiring this video, inspiring me, inspiring what I worked on in this ice time. Take a look. I'm gonna come off the post. Okay. Shoot it anywhere. I'm just gonna sit in the goal line.
somebody in there? No. Oh, hey there! How many times have I told you, leave my place? Well, I live here, about a shower. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I no, do. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> gotcha. So the man's getting lawnmowers. People don't remember when we talked about this last time? Listen to this for a sec. You know when you're shaving your sack and your bush and all that stuff in the jungle and you get this nasty razor burn a couple days later because you were all silky smooth on day one, day three it's like, oh, whew, bad idea, right? The lawnmower doesn't do that. You don't get any razor burn, you don't get any stubble, there's no itching, any of that kind of stuff. It's great. Plus, it's got a 30-day battery life, man. You plug this thing in, it charges with a USB, you know, like a USB cable on your computer, iPhone QB thingy, you plug it in, the battery lasts forever. And this thing is legit. You got it, yeah. You know, every time you come in here and harass me, you make me want to buy a lawnmower. I hope you know that, right? Hey, and you still can. You go to the link in the description at manscaped.com and use the promo code TRAVSUCKS20. That's TRAVSUCKS20 for all the people in the back. You can save yourself 20% on your perfect package or your performance package. What do you say? And guess what? I did. Yeah! The, those ads get more and more ridiculous every single time. But uh, thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Also wanted to say thank you to Pierre Grew. This guy probably doesn't even give these videos the time of day in order to give a shit about somebody like me, but I just want to say thanks that if he does get the chance to see this for inspiring me to continue to work on my game, to inspire this video, and hopefully indirectly inspire a bunch of other people to work on that same concept of setting your feet, getting square on pucks, and, and honestly just taking some pride during these crazy times when things aren't open to go and do something about your game. You can sit on your ass, you can make, you know, you can make excuses, complain, all that kind of bitching and moaning, but when it comes down to it, you either want to get better or you don't. I'll say this, I've been having a very hard time finding people that want to get out and want to go and skate and want to go and do something during these times. So having somebody like Tommy is awesome because Tommy wants to skate every day of the week. Finding people like that are, are really, really essential to kind of survive in these times. But anyway, so anyway, thank you to those guys and uh, pick up some Pro Laces toe ties, some Travis Beck Pro Laces that you saw me use in these videos. Promo code TRAVSUCKS, save a couple bucks as well. Butt ends grips, sideonswap.com, you want supplements, Everything you possibly could need, linked down in the description below. Promo code TRAVSUCKS. Thanks again to Pierre. Uh, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. I'm going to be doing a trip to Vancouver next week. I'm flying out to Vancouver. I'm skiing with Pasco Volana for nine days, I believe. And then I'm taking the VRL back from Vancouver to Winnipeg. And that train back from Vancouver to Winnipeg on the VRL. I'm going to use that opportunity to kind of not hockey related. I mean, there's an underlying hockey theme but just a dedicated travel vlog that might be for some people, might not be for others. I'm really passionate about trains, I'm passionate about VRL and, and trying to make a video like that. So if you're into that, great. If not, I will see you in the next Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload, 9 a.m. Eastern. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon.